How's it going everyone? This week I'm going to be sharing with you one of my most favorite photography accessories, the Acrotec leveling base. Greetings once again. Thanks for being here. My name is Todd Domini. I make videos here on YouTube about photography. So this week, it's all about the Acrotec leveling base. What is this thing? Why do people buy these? And why do I like it so much? Why am I making a video about it? So first, let me just talk about how this works and what it does in case you're Google searching around about leveling bases and you're not exactly sure. Top of the leveling base has a male thread and then the bottom of the leveling base has a female thread. Now with you know this side, you put this into the bottom of your ball head or your, tr or your uh, fluid video head, whichever one uh, you're currently using. And then with the other side of the leveling base, then you attach the whole thing to the top of your tripod. Here on the side of the leveling base, you will see there's a large rubberized grip here. And you turn this to loosen it up and then once it's loose, then your ball head or your fluid head has independent uh, leveling control relative to the tripod itself. All right, I'm gonna take the ball head off of the Acrotec leveling mount for just a minute because I wanna illustrate a point about, uh, about the, the problem that can arise when you don't have one of these leveling bases. Now, if I were just taking a single photo, I could just loosen the knob here move the plate until the level up here on the top of the plate is perfectly level, tighten the knob back on, put the camera on, take a photo, no harm, no foul, I get a, I get a perfectly level uh, image. Well, here is where the problem comes in, and this is when you start to have issues with this setup. Let's say you're out and you're taking a photo and you're looking at it and then suddenly you realize, you think, ah, oh, this would probably make a really good uh, panorama. You know, maybe I should shoot uh, some images to create a panoramic image. Or maybe I should put my camera in video mode and maybe I should do a slow pan across the horizon if I'm trying to capture some B-roll or some, you know, some type of footage like that. Well, the problem that comes in is that as soon as you loosen this ball head and you start turning it and you start panning it this way, then the plate is way out of alignment. It's now like dipping kind of like back this way. Then my video, when I pan across the horizon, would basically kind of go like this or it would you know, go like this, depending on which way the, uh, the tilt is on the top of the plate. Just because the plate is level does not mean that it's always going to be level as you turn the, uh, the ball head or the fluid head because the ball head is not level and your tripod is not level. So that is where these uh, leveling bases come in so handy. So let me just put this thing back on. I can just turn the knob, get this into just the right position, lock that down, loosen this up. And now when I turn and do a pan of the top of the tripod of the, uh, of the ball head here, it is perfectly level as it turns. Now, one thing I wanna quickly point out is the fact that there are some uh, tripods out there which include leveling bases. Like the leveling base is built into this mount on the top of the tripod up here. I actually reviewed a tripod uh, like that. I'm actually using it right now to film this video on. And that is the iFootage uh, Gazelle TC6. I will leave a video review of that tripod up here if you're interested in seeing that. So why this particular leveling base? Why this one from Acrotec, which is a brand that perhaps you've never heard of before, when there are other leveling bases made by other companies, other brands? Well, in my opinion, you know, there, there's an old saying of like, um, you know, buy cheap, uh, pay twice. And this is something that's actually burned me a number of times where I've bought cheap tripods, I've bought like a cheap ball head, and I'll use it for like a year or two, something like that. And then I'll find out later that it's, uh, it performs about as well as it costs. Either I'll have some kind of performance issue with it or something will break and I'll end up regretting the purchase. And either I'll go out and buy the same thing again, um, 
you know, to replace it or I'll end up spending the money on the thing that I probably should have bought the first time around and then I end up spending more money in the long run as opposed to investing in, you know, just super high quality equipment, you know, just basically biting the bullet, doing it, and then you have something that will last for years and years and years that you're not going to have to replace. And that is ultimately what led me to this Acrotec leveling base because this is a, a serious piece of gear. It's just incredibly durable. It is so well made. This entire thing is made out of, um, out of stainless steel and aircraft grade aluminum. So it is rock solid. The design of it is also completely open air in here. It repels dirt, it repels water. You can use it in you know, extreme weather conditions. I have used this for two years now and I've used this in you know, the hot, like the boiling hot deserts of Arizona and Utah, all the way from that to like the icy fjords of uh, Lofoten, Norway. It's still going strong and it is performing just as well as it did the very first day that I got it. I have never had any problem with this at all. Even with this thing, you know, fully decked out with like, you know, a DSLR and a heavy like 70 to 200 lens and then some more stuff on top of that with a lot of weight. I have never had trouble loosening this up, leveling everything above it, tightening it back, and then going back to shooting. And then the best part is the fact that you will never have to touch the legs of your tripod again in order to get your camera balanced, in order to get this camera level up here at the top. Because you can just, this is what I do, I just show up at a scene with the tripod, I drop it down, I get the legs, I just kind of eyeball it, and I'm like, mm, yep, that looks about right, that looks level enough. Put everything on, and then use the leveling base up here to get the ball head level, or my fluid head level, put the camera on, and I'm good to go. By the way, I just want to mention that this video is not sponsored. It is not paid for. Acrotech did not provide me with this leveling base. I bought this base with my own money a couple of years ago. And the entire reason why I'm making this video is because this base has become such an integral part of my, of my uh, workflow that it's almost become invisible for me. Like I just don't even think about it anymore. I just always assume that it's on the tripod. And honestly, I just kind of forgot about it. And then one day I noticed it and I thought, yeah, I should make a video about it because I would bet that there are other uh, photographers or filmmakers out there, people who have just, you know, standard tripods like these, ones that do not have leveling bases or bowls here and they're interested in acquiring a tripod like that. They're thinking about upgrading and, uh, and getting a different one just for that one feature. Well, with an independent separate leveling base like this, then you don't have to buy another tripod. If you want more information about the Acrotec leveling base and you'd like to check it out for yourself, big dog back here, um, look in the video description below. There is a link down there where you can check it out over at Amazon, read up about it, and obviously purchase one for yourself if you'd like to as well. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below, or you will also find my email address in the video description. Feel free to shoot me an email if that works better for you. I've had some viewers of this channel and some subscribers emailing me with some questions, and I've been responding to people through that channel as well, in addition to leaving comments here on YouTube. So whatever works for you, feel free to leave a comment, drop me an email, doesn't matter to me. Happy to uh, answer any questions you may have. Appreciate your time and attention. Thanks so much for being here. Be safe, be well. I'll see you next week.